Welcome to Everett Animal Shelter's Pet of the Week. I'm Dee Cordell, and with me today is a shelter volunteer, Cindy, who brought a little friend along. Cindy, welcome. Thank you for having us. And tell us a little about this well-behaved little dog we have here. Well, um, this is Blue. She's a little two-year-old female, and she's a, a Shiba Inu. I always want to say emu, but it's not an emu. She's an emu. <laughs> maybe. Maybe she's like a really exotic breed. Could very well be. Um, she's new to the shelter with us. She just came in the, over the last couple of days, um, but she's doing pretty darn well. Um, she, the input we get from the um, the walkers is that she walks great on leash, and I walked her myself, okay. and she's just no pulling, no darting. Um, she's just really good on leash, and she did well in the car as well. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, and she's coming from uh, an environment where she's lived with cats and with children. Okay. But no dogs. And she tends to um, have a little bit of aggression and fear towards other dogs and some resource guarding. So we're thinking that she would be good in a home with n no other dogs. Okay. And cats and, and children would, would be fine. Okay. Um, she's very loving. She loves to be pet. Uh, she knows a few of her commands. She sits and she rolls over, and oh. she's very smart. Oh, well, look at you! You know stuff. And Hi. I think she, you know, she pick up on a lot of other commands very easily. Okay. Yeah. So I know the tricky thing with dogs that have issues with other dogs is, um, you know, you're thinking, oh, good, we can go to a dog park and we can go for a walk. But when you have a dog that has a dog restriction you really have to alter what you're going to do with them for exercise because dog parks aren't a good idea with right. dogs that are fearful of other dogs. Or right. when you're walking, you have to be very diligent about who you're meeting along the road because a lot of people will let their dog run up to another dog and you have to be comfortable with the no, this dog doesn't like other dogs. And so you're kind of more aware as you're walking of your surroundings with other right. dogs. Right. And that's really our accountability and responsibility as an owner for her um, is that um, you know it's up to us to be able to provide a safe environment for her and for others so we really need someone who's willing to commit to her for a forever home uh, and that is cognizant of her fear of other dogs and can really work with her and provide her that environment where she's the happiest well good let's hope that the right family comes in and finds her yes um, the other thing I want us to talk about briefly is that this weekend this sh the shelter is going to be attending sort of culture the big garden and art event that the city holds every year. Yes, and that's exciting. That's a lot of fun. And we'll be having um, some of our own dogs and our own volunteers um, out walking the dogs that are adoptable, that have their little adopt me vests on them. Oh, good, so okay. So people can, um, can identify what dogs are available for adoption. Okay. Uh, and um, it's, a, it's a great event. It's a great event. It's a fun time for people to, not only to come out, you know, for the, the uh, flower side and that sort of thing, but to see the animals and to interact with them in an environment where they're around other people and other dogs, they truly get an idea of what they're like out in public. Yeah, and we've done a lot of great adoptions from that event for that very reason. Mm -hmm. It's not the shelter environment, right. and they can more picture themselves with that animal because they, like, I would take my animal to this and walk them around. Right. And right. You're right, it puts them in that real setting. So yeah. um, you can check out our Facebook page and our website to find out when we'll have animals at Sort of Culture. We will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So stop by our booth and say hi and see what dogs, puppies, or kittens we may have available there. Um, if you're interested in any other animals for adoption, check out our website and also go to our Facebook page. A lot of great dogs just like Blue are there. Uh, Blue's pretty sweet. She's probably going to go pretty quickly, but if you don't see Blue there, I'm sure you'll find a furry family member that uh, you just can't resist. Cindy, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thank you.